Um, I hope we had a great day. Um, um, well, we are actually on reading, <coughs> and um, we are trusting today will be a day we'll be able to. Good evening, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. So, if you are ready for the class, can I just have a sign? Just send a yes to chat room. Um, or what? Just yes, sir. Have a great day. Yeah, thank you. It's like it's just hearing the the, the voice is recording. Okay, so just send a, a, a yes. We sign already. This is our last day. Okay, I think I'm seeing so many people responding right now. This is our last day on reading. I have Cambridge 14 in front of me, is it? Cambridge 13 in front of me now. Cambridge 13. So if you have, if you're able to make your other Cambridge 13, please um, let me know so that um, probably we can do that together. Um, we just want to assess some questions and see how it goes. Actually, you cannot, have a good score in your reading if you have not practiced. I'd like to share a short testimony with us. Um, one of my students met me around February. She just wrote an exam like a month ago. And um, uh, after some weeks of training, um, she was supported with the exam she wrote. So after some weeks of training with me, she went for the IS exam in March. And then um, after um, the exam, she didn't pass. When I say she didn't pass, she didn't have the bar score she was looking for. I think she has six point five in in writing, but six in reading. She, and the other ones were seven and above. So she didn't tell me, but immediately she registered. Immediately after she registered, I, I wasn't aware. So maybe two um, two weeks after she registered, she registered for um to write in April. Okay. So she she just told me she wanted to recommence the training and probably we should just keep up with what we were doing before. So I kept on sending materials to her. We had some some few interactions and then um because of the COVID situation the exam was postponed by another month. So she was going to write May 16. So of course the COVID situation was not completely off, but there were some little um, openings. So she decided to go for the exam. I mean, in the, the exam was not postponed again in May 16. So she went for the exam May 16, and the result came out today. Um, what I told her when I spoke to her then was, do not register for the exam. But she didn't tell me she had registered. So I wasn't even aware that she had. So she was just like, mm, God will have mercy on me and all that. Of course, so she, she came with result today. She had 7.5 in listening, 7 in reading, 6.5 in writing, and 7 in speaking. So um, that will be our third attempt and final attempt. So what I learned from that is, um, um, you see, if you do not practice consistently, you're going to be having issues with it. It's, it's as simple as that. There's no, I mean, there's no other pastor about it. There's no... I, I don't know how tricky one can just do it and just maybe just struggle and pass if you don't practice. So we try to do a practice tonight. If you can get Cambridge 13, that'll be fine. Um, I said I was going to try and show you how I approach reading tests. Um, this is the question. And um, what I'm seeing here is um, uh, a table. But of course, like fill, it's similar to filling the gap. If you have Cambridge 13, Test one, cream retarding reason test one. And um, before I before I go into that, I saw few um, a few assignments that came in, um, and I'm, I, I I would like to say for every for every single assignment that come in, I salute your courage, I salute your your commitment, I salute your 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 readiness to to just take it through. It's not easy. I will not lie to you to sit down and do assignments. <laughs> it's not easy, but 
Um, I was, I was, I was speaking with someone today. She may be hearing me now. I said, um, um, I, I've ever done, done like this before. Just to, you are not no money with you. But just like this, before. you're just doing like this. I said, and um, I'm thinking, what are you counting? Counting pounds. So if you remember, if you just you whenever you're feeling bored, just like this, spend some counting, maybe 1.5 million, and then you just you jar yourself up and you forget the constants you have and then you focus so i saw quite a number of um um uh, i mean of people that, i mean uh, for listening i'm seeing people getting better in listening I, I i see that that's beautiful but of course please do not stop practice every single day from today you're going to be having a listening test reading test maybe the weekends you may just do a revision the monday you, you kick off again but if you can if you can can you just do this practice reading on listening in the weekends too. Just keep practicing. If you have to repeat what you have done before, repeat it, okay? Just to get better. Because the goal is get better, get better, get better every day. And um, your focus should be eight in reading. That should be your focus. So even if you have, um, if you're having 30, don't be happy. Focus 37, 35, so that at least you know you are, you are above average. You are far above average. So, Average is 30. So the far above average is going to be 37, 35, 39, 40, 40. Mm -hmm. At least you are, you, are, you are moving closer. So by the time you get to the exam hall, you, there is this level of confidence. So um, please, let's keep practicing and practice. So this is the um, question I want us to answer. If you can uh, um, have access to it, please go ahead. Cambridge 13, reading text one. Cambridge 13, reading text one. And the question is a table. This is this is a, this is similar to summary versus filling the gap. This is still similar to summary versus filling the gap. So the question says, I um, the the top the the heading. Choose one top one word now for this particular Cambridge. I've not done it for a while. So I mean, the last time I probably did this for me last year. So. I can't remember what is there, so don't ever think well. Maybe I've mastered the question and all that. I will have loved this on my phone, but because I won't be able to really put it very well if I have to be screwing up and down. That's why I felt I should take a booklet. So um, if you can get this thing, if you can get on your phone directly, just open it and let's do it together. So choose one word only from the passage. Mm -hmm. What they are saying is, ah, please, if you can hear me, Wave at me. I don't know. I, 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 am I audible or I'm speaking very low? So if you can hear me, just wave. Let me be sure that I'm not talking to self. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me be sure I'm not talking. Okay. 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 Because somebody said I, I'm not. All right. All right. Thank you. Very, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. They said choose one word from the passage for each answer. So what they are saying is the answer is hidden in the passage look for it and put it here that's that's what they're saying that we have some keys we have some doors here you want we want you to open and the keys to these doors are inside the passage so go and go and pick the keys all right so that you can unlock the doors the doors are the question and then the keys are the answers hidden in the passage so what do I do? I go to the door, which is the question. This is the door. If you can see this, if you cannot see it, I'm sorry. But if you can see this, it's a table. It's a table. And then the keywords here, data, database of tourism services. That's the keyword one, database of tourism services. Then the other keywords here is easy, tourism related business. And then so the focus here is I'm to look for the comments on this section of the website. There's a section of website talk called database. So I'm to look for the comments. And the first comment is that the database of the tourist services is easy for business related, uh, for, for tourism related businesses. That's one. The second database, um, the second comment on that, on that database is that allowed business to dash. Allowed business to dash. So I'm to look for that dash. So my keyword is allowed business. So I'll be, I'll be looking for allowed business. 
all right? Please let somebody help um, um, Shombo Ahmed. Just send, if you can help me type in, that you should press um, audio, audio in twice so that you can, you can um, get the, all right, thank you. you. Just press that audio in twice, thank you. So allow business, and then the other keyword there is, there's a dash, allowed businesses to dash information regularly now if it was um that i will answer this question without going to the passage all that we need to do can be chatting place all i need to do is just put thrive there or receive information but i need to look for it in the passage all right so let me check for the others then this the third one is provide the country-wide evaluation of business including their impact on the dash so the keyword here is including in their impact and then the value of business. So I'm looking for those two aspects in the passage. Then the, the second section of the, of the website says special features on local topics. So, and they gave examples, an interview with a former sports dash. So the keyword is former sports. Then the keyword is interview with former sports. Okay, so underline that. Then an interaction tour of various locations, all right? So the keyword there is, uh, I mean, used in dash. So the keyword there is interaction tour of various locations. That's the keyword. Then the third section of the, of the website is information on driving, driving routes. Then the keyword there is varies depending on the dash. Varies depending on dash. So I'm, I'm going to be looking for varied depending. Then the third one is the fourth one is traveling planner, and then they said including a map showing selected places, details of public transport, and local dash. So but the keyword here is show um, um, selected places, details of public transport, and local dash. Then your words. The keyword here is travelers send a link to dash. Oh my God, I'm so, I'm so excited because this is the simplest question you will ever meet. Anything filling the gap is cheap. Whenever they tell you, pick the question from the passage. Ah, okay. they call it Obey. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm speaking you. I don't know what everybody else <laughs> but it's, it's that simple. Now, what, what I want to do right now, I'm going to be looking at the sections. Now, I'm open to the passage right now. I'm looking at the sections of the paragraph. The, the, the sections that the, we already talked about the sections of the website. Right now, they're talking about websites here. They said section of websites. So I'm looking for where you don't talk about section of websites. So here, here am I. I'm seeing the key feature of the campaign was that I'm, I'm, by the time I opened the page, I just I just checked, I just looked straight now. And my eyes went straight to paragraph two. The key feature of the of the of the campaign. Sorry, thirteen. Can we thirteen? Reading text, text one. Cam, um, Cambridge one. I mean, can we thirteen? Reading text one. Passage one. Okay, so the key feature of the campaign was websites. <laughs> I, don't, I don't catch them. This is what I was looking for. Websites, and then they began to tell us issues about the websites. So the first thing they said was that um, the ads of the website was a database of tourism services. Can you see the database of tourism services? <laughs> That's number one. Now I want to look at the comments under it. And they said, both based in whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm scanning, so I'm not going to read everything. If I'm reading, I will be reading everything, but I'm scanning. So I'll, I'm, I'm trying to read what the way I'm reading in my mind. So if you see me skipping words, that's the way it's going on. I'm, I'm skipping. That's and as, that's why you don't read them. You don't say which was based in abroad, which of mm -mm. you skip and that's not necessary. Just move to where they are running. I'm looking forward to seeing the second comment, which is allow business to dash. So um, so I'm, I'm I've, I've gone through the base whatever meant that the smallest breakfast address could gain access to the whatever. In addition, all oh, right, that's where I'm going now. Because participating, participating businesses were able to update. Oh, yeah, I don't cut them. Update. So that's what I'm looking for. Update the details they gave on regular basis. So immediately I know that number one is what? Or 
update, write the ICDAP update. That's number one, sir. Now, number two, provided a, comp a country wide ever. So I'm going back to check right now. Then they said uh, the information and then to maintain standard tourism, new whatever, organizing scheme where organizations appeared on the world underwent an independent evaluation, okay, against an agreement as part of this. The effect of its business on the environment was considered. The impact on the what? Environment. That's number two. You can see I'm, I just said just coming out, pouring like water. Now, one thing you should now observe is that they are using different words. The keywords are not the exact same I'm seeing in the in the, in the question. Now, instead of them to use um, provided, let me see what they used here. They said organized a scheme. Okay, and then they and then they said uh, uh, provide the company whatever underwent the was underwent independent evaluation. They are using different words, different words. Are you following what I'm trying to say? So you should not expect to see the exact words that you picked in the keywords. Please, I wish you get that place. Please do not expect. Please do not expect to see the exact words that you saw on the keywords. Don't, don't, don't say, uh -uh, um, I did not see organized the, uh -uh, sir, uh, sir. I did not see allow businesses. It is gave business, it's still the same thing. Once it tallies with what you are looking for, you move ahead. Now, going to the second, the third question special features on local topics. Let's, let, let's go on. Now, I think that was in the third paragraph right now. They said, carries features related to famous people, okay, and places. And they said, famous people, famous people and places. Now they said, which then, okay, so they have not really gone straight to the, um, to where we are going now. One of the popular was with former New Zealand All Blacks rugby captain. So what are we looking at? Sports captain. Are you guys not excited? It's, it's so simple. <laughs> you know, you know it, it, and, and that is the real life situation. Now, you see, when you're dealing with reading and your mind is under pressure, yeah, like maybe first of all, the first, first pressure I'm talking about is you are so scared that like, reading, I can tell you, you will not see it like this. The second thing is that you probably under pressure from the people at home. Maybe you are doing reading and then you're having calls. If somebody is calling you, you know, you, are, you have to leave it and, pour and stop and all that, you won't get the answers. That's another way. And number three is if you are disturbed about something in your mind. So, or number four, if you are probably, um, you, are, you, are, you are disturbed about something generally. So you need to clear your mind. That is one of the things that will help you. If possible, you go and sleep. Wake up when your mind is set, then go for your reading. So that you can actually have a better disposition to it. Now, the next one is, in interactive tour of various locations used in, all right? So talking about tour, okay? And then we said, another feature was an interactive journey. See these guys, they, 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 they said tour, they said journey. <laughs> now, if I don't know that tour means journey, I'll be looking for top and down. You understand? Now I saw it that they were talking about uh, tour. Through various locations, choosing for block, bluster themes used in, Block bluster themes, which had made use of New Zealand's stunning scenery as a black backdrop. Now, there are three answers that you want to pick there. Number one is block bluster mm -hmm. themes. Number two is um number two is what now? Scenery. And number three as backdrop. Now look at this. Um interactive tour for various locations used in used in okay and so there's a confusion locations chosen for in locate locations chosen for black buster films which were used of which were which made use of new zealand stunning scenery as a backdrop so the answer now is is the answer themes used in themes? 
or used in scenery or used in backdrop? Who can tell me the answer? <laughs> Just write something down. Which one is more logical, more, more grammatically accepted? Theme, used in themes, used in scenery, used in backdrop. Come, now look, look at this guy. So that's how they wanted to scatter somebody's brain. <laughs> of course, it's films. But sometimes you want to be shaky. That's okay. What about this one too? But you can get you can simply get them very easy. All right. Now the next one is information on driving routes, very depending on the okay. So they now said to make it easier to plan motoring, the catalog, the sign catalog. The decide catalog most driving routes in the country, highlighting different routes according to the season. Okay, depending on the season, the answer is season and dictating distance at time. So, the other one is what season. Please write the answer down. We're going to check the answers. And if we get this one, then you remember that reading is the simplest of the four modules. Okay, and then um, number traveling planner included a map showing selected places all right so talking about details plan feature was added which allows visitors to click and then and then they view the results of the map okay so they clean the map this is a local so let's see this place um look at it this is now a bit clumsy they said they suggested routes and public options between seeing choosing locations and this links are registered so that they can return it later so and local so the issue of the, the what i'm looking for is local now local all right um so let's tell routes and public transport options and choosing locations that's under travel planner viewed maps and then suggested routes so what is that local place maybe routes because the thing is they were, it was it was against public transport they said Suggested routes and public transport. So it will be routes, local routes. All right. So the last one, or is not no, that, that should be number. Okay, the last one. Travelers could send a link to their so your words now. They said the uh, also ask your words sex uh, sex sex section where anyone could commit a blog, a blog. To the website so of course that one is what blog so um can we someone let me check the answers if you are following me let me check the answers i want us to do a yes or not given together and see I, okay the question even answers yes or not given but before we check before we do the next one check check my answers then write, write our score down and how many how many minutes do you use in spite of all the explanations and all that, is somebody doing this for me, please? Because if you are doing that for me, let me just say and or something, don't say sign that. Okay, you are doing this for me. Why are you not following? No, <laughs> please, we are doing it for everyone to follow. This is just for everyone to connect. You want to try and let, let everyone see the simplicity of reading. It's, it's something that you could be very cheap and you know, just like chin chin. I, I tell people when we are dealing with reading, just do as we want to eat chin chin. And then all those uh, yes, uh, fair uh, filling the gap. You just answer them like you are eating chin chin. Just ham ham ham. <laughs> now who is who is checking for me? <laughs> Let somebody help. Who is checking for me, please? So I'm preparing for yes or not given because that's be the area where we will like. This is this is the real deal for some people, and we are going to be testing all what we said yesterday. Um, about that, but I like us to say, okay, yeah, passage one, yes, Cambridge starting um, text, 
Ready to test one, passage one. All right, you're welcome. Now, who is helping us? Just write the score. Is this, is this five, one over seven or six over seven or seven seven? We will we'll be checking up on the two first not given now. Okay. Well, while we are waiting, let's just go on. It's eight to thirteen. So there are only two sub questions here: filling the gap, um, sort of table filling the gap, and then um, this is um. Truth was not given. So um, I, I I don't know what anybody checked for us, but there they said, um, do the following statement. Do the following statement agree with the inf information? And then the first and it's true first not given. Okay, the first question is the website www.newsland aimed to provide ready-made itineraries. The website, the website aimed to provide ready-made itineraries and packages. Did you get what I just said now? Aimed to provide ready-made itineraries and packages for traveling companies and individuals. So we want to check the keywords here. The keyword number one is website. Number two, aimed to provide. Then the other one is ready-made itineraries and packages for companies and individuals. So I want to see whether these words are visibly in the passage or they contradict the passage or they are not in the passage at all. Okay. So um now this is this is it. Now you said the website was set up to allow both individuals mm -hmm. and traveling organizations to create itineraries and traveling packages to suit their own needs and interests. Okay. So they said the website was set up to allow both individuals to create. Now, what is different in this statement and the statement in the passage? Let somebody help me. I can't just say no. We have to work together. What's the difference between this statement and the statement in the passage? The, what, what the passage said was that the website aimed to provide itineraries. Why this one said it allowed individuals to create. One aimed to provide. The others allowed individuals to create. So, the word aimed to provide. Mm, contradicting. Okay. So it's that contradicting. Is that means it's false. So just write it's F contradicting. In front. Just write F so in front. Okay. That is false. Mm -hmm. All right. So let somebody do number two for me. I think I'm happy that mm -hmm. somebody's for me. I, I heard you check the answer for me. Did you check the answer? So let somebody do number two for me. And I want you to explain. You can just unmute your mic and then uh, explain how you got your answer. Who is helping us? Should I pick people? Should I just pick somebody? <laughs> I don't know how to pick. <laughs> Sir, yes, ma please. I'm new in the class. Where can I get the questions from? That's the issue. Um, I, I, I set up a, I put a link on the on the Telegram page. If you can look for it, we have okay. all the questions. I just download this. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. But please, who have been following us? Kindly unmute and please help us out so that we can move together. It's not just be like I'm talking to self. Probably I'm just um, anxiety myself here. Please. Okay, I think Ogechi has been following us. All right. So please, Ogechi, let's do this number two together. He said, it was found that most visitors started searching on the website by geographical 
location. The most of started searching on the website by geographical location. That is, they started searching on okay. the website. Okay. By now, look at it. They said most businesses. I think it is false. What said started searching by geographical is, location? Did this? The, no, look at the question. Look at the, the question very well. Visitors can search. They most of started yes. searching. That is, they started searching. Okay. On the website, so, what was the the answer is false. The not answer is false. Why is it false? <laughs> the is because false? on the website, visitors can search. One is saying that the visitors can search, and the there other one is saying that they started searching. Not by searching. geographical location, not by... The question is that is, is can search and start searching contradictory? No. No. But is it synonym? Is it not so by geographical location, I mean? Is this is it a synonym? No. So the what the issue is that if they sat, if the passage said they sat, what the passage they said the visitors can sat, but they never said they sat. Yes. They said the visitors so, started searching uh, on the question. But so the passage in the said, passage. In the passage they said they can search if they like. And if they don't like, they will not search. Yes. The reason is that you don't know whether they search or they did not search. Or they didn't search. They can search. So it's not. But what's the answer, please? Write it down. Now not... look at the dubious. By <laughs> 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 dubious way, they want to do that. Someone will not say, sir, I don't know the difference between false and not given. Now that's the issue. Honestly. It's is very this, confusing. Is this contradictory? No. Is it the question? Did they do it? No. No. They did, we, we cannot say if they did or not. Oh, no. But so they, it's not, they, not they, given. Because the person said they can do it. But we, the person never said they did it. And the person did never say, now, if the person now said the, 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 the visitors did not search, what would be the answer? False. False. That's the first one okay. said the website. The question said the website had them to spend. But in the question, they said the, the, the website had them allowed the individuals to choose for themselves. So there's a contradictory issue there. The website can be one said, I was not it for you. The other one said, mm -mm, I use it for myself. There's a contradiction here. But here, there is a statement that was confirmed in the question. They searched. But the question the, the never said they didn't search. They only said they can what search. So you are, you are not aware whether they searched or they didn't search. Yeah, and the question can be, only cannot confirm to us categorically that they searched. They only said they can search. Do you understand? Second, the third question. According to research, 26% of visitor satisfaction is related to accommodation. Let us see. Why transport accommodation account for the remaining 26? It's true. It's true. It's true. Are you sure? Are so you can sure? you read it again, the passage? Twenty percent of visitors satisfaction is related to the accommodation. Okay, it will be false because it's now the twenty six percent is now shared between accommodation. It's false. It's false because in the passage it is shared between transport and accommodation. You know that you have to read the passage very well. Alright. Visitors Reforce. to New Zealand like to be involved in local culture. The visitors to New Zealand, they 
Look at look at this. It's part of most when they are in Is it true for us? It's true. True. It's true. 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 Yes. It means light rather than larger ones. Yeah. Now, the state is many visitors. Nice. So, the the Put yeah. your mic. Let's hear from from him. Put your mic. Let's run. Okay. Can we help ourselves so that we can hear each other? All right. Okay. So please, if you are not having any issues of noise around you, please you can just unmute your audio. So now they said visitors like to stay in the hotel in small hotel. Now, I'm looking at the passage now. I did not say anything like hotel. It's not given. It's not given. Please, can you mute your audios and or stop watching TV, anyone, so we can hear? Okay. I, 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 I'm still having issues struggling with people that are still unmuting, even though there's noise around, please. Please kindly help us to unmute if you know you have a noise that is tangible around you, please. Thank you. So now I don't know if you are with me, please. I don't know whether you, you observed anything like hotel for me. Um I'm not saying it's around hotel here, so it is not given. They said they like saying hotel and nothing like that. Now many visitors feel now look at this kind of not given no, that it is so glaring, very glaring, because nothing like hotel was mentioned. Nothing. Why there is one that is dicey? That they'll be using a uh, uh, can be or should be or will be to 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 dribble us in this one. Nothing like hotel was mentioned. And last question: Many visitors feel it is unlikely that they will return to New Zealand after their visit. They feel it is unlikely. So look at what they said here. New Zealand is a small country. It is argued that it can be argued that New Zealand is not a typical destination. Okay, so. It's a small country with visitors come. So we generally save with reliable transport because of the of the overall most visitors stay for longer days. I want to be so that they can say as a once in a lifetime. So basically, that means that they do not think they were going to be coming back after the visit. So that is what true. Please, if you mark for me, I wasn't writing anything down. Kindly help me. Check my answers and let's know our score for this short essay. All right. Um, now I, I, I would like us to do one more uh, one aspect that would just the matching headings before I leave today, so that we can see how we can tackle it on a personal note and see the rigors that is involved. Matching headings is rigorous; it will take your time, but you need to devote time for it. So please, if you followed up with me. Kindly help me check what was the score that we got together um, so that we can. I don't want everybody to be silent because the last time everybody was just silent and looking at me. Uh, as if I was the one doing it alone. And I saw that people were just doing the thing. Please, let's check up. 12 over 13. So, which one was missed, please? I'm surprised I have 12 over 13. I did have 12 over 13. Which one was missed? <laughs> Which one, please? Let me know the, the number six. Wow, number six. What was the what was number six? Yeah, local routes. <laughs> How did that miss that one? <laughs> okay. Local location, Abby. Okay. What was the answer for number six? Sincerely, I'm surprised. What, what Accommodation. Accommodation. Wow. 
link to accommodation in the area. Yay! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. See, see how guessing killed me. Now you would have just gotten that one. Look in the air in the area. So now I've got all the people that people complain that is art ah, is matching and we just do not give them. We got everything. So um truth be told, these are very cheap stuff. If you if your mind is at rest and you are able to like we you know just know that it's not going it's not what it's not the way people think it is actually the fact that you have not been able to just calm down relax yourself to really focus on it that's the reason why you are looking at it as tough and that's the actual reason why you may keep having that tough mindset now let's try and do one more which is um matching edits the dreaded funny people matching <laughs> Edges. Now, what you do for matching edges is that you try to scrap to the passage. Uh, you skim to the passage quickly, and then you come back and um, check. Now, let me just do the skimming right now. Uh, the question, the question is, is the second passage reading true? Reading the second passage for that, for that same text one. Uh, the same second uh, passage two, I mean. So for that same text one, what you are doing now? Okay. So, he said, um, why being bored is stimulating? <laughs> <laughs> now, people said, boredom is, boredom is, is bad. I feel bored and I'm going Now, let, let's teach you how to get stimulation from boredom. <laughs> I don't have time for this reason, but I'm telling you the truth. So, so, then we all know how it's impossible to keep your mind and all that. Stretch your mind. Da, 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 da. A great sister, okay, by asking people about their strengths and boredom, and the five different things went through, according to Sandy, and for that to say, you know, boredom forms. And then, is it number 20? Yeah, number 20, 21, yeah. And I'm reading the passage right now, I'm doing my scheming now, okay. So I'm through the passage now. That should be how many seconds or minutes? Now I go back to the question. Very true. First one said productive outcome that may result from boredom. Second one um, said um, what teachers can do to prevent boredom. Next one is a new explanation and a new cure for boredom. Next one said problems with a scientific approach to boredom. The next one said potential danger arises from boredom. And then the other one said creating a system of classification for feeling of boredom. Then each group must most affected by boredom and then identify those most affected by boredom. And I'm I'm told to look for the correct heading for each paragraph on the list of headings below. A to F. Mm. And actually, we have A to F. Yeah, so we have six paragraphs, and I'm to look for the correct heading for the six paragraphs. So, what do I do? I go back to the passage, and I'm reading. I want to scan paragraph one right now. Okay, and I will give you the summary of what I scanned. So, so they were talking about that it's difficult to study boredom in the lab. That was what they're talking about. So let's see anything that has to do with that. Um, potential outcomes, what it has in information problem, with scientific, scientific approach. Okay. 
happen. So now the one I'm, I'm I'm seeing that looks close to it is problem with this. I need approach to board them. That's just just we've got to talk about lab difficulty. Get to lab. And to make matter strangely and strangely matter. <laughs> no mind my story, my English. <laughs> no matter strange is that that issue of lab was not even the first sentence. As people will claim that you should always look out for this first sentence. It was actually the second sentence. But it, the, the other things that corroborated was had in the other sentences. So we have four. So for now, I'm marking four. For now, I'm just marking four. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. For A is four, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm going to number two. Mm -hmm. Okay, We're talking about types of boredom. Types of boredom. One that went to the right, went to the left, and all that. So I'm looking at classification. For feeling oh, of well God. That's number, number six, classification. Okay. All right. Okay. So can we can we agree on that? We are not sure yet. We are still not sure. But we'll just put number six there. All right. Oh. Go to number this is exactly how you argue. Um. Um. What what now? Matching agents. And that's Matching why I said it takes a bit more time. Best bet if you have answered other questions, you get familiar with the passive. Don't be confused. No, we go through. The whole gist goes for that. All the motions are for easy. And we found out this is how food are being brought. And let's find out these two amazing things. We're talking about the creative things that come out from boredom. It allows for beautiful things, creative things, creative things, creative things of our boredom. All right? So that leads to number one. So that's the outcome that may result from bottom. That's number one. So C1. We are not sure. We are still assuming. Still assuming. Number four. Or number D. Apologies. Let's So we're talking about problems that have the the, the, things, the bad the potential danger from boredom. That's what he's talking about here. That um it can make you it can cause failure to put a stone of the and all that. So that's like number five now. Five. Okay. Okay. Smooth half. <laughs> this is distracting me. I've been a test group. I look at new moods. <laughs> Sorry, you now I can understand exactly how it feels like. Maybe you're already getting bored. <laughs> we are being bored, though. Yeah, that? That <laughs> <laughs> so don't worry, I'm almost through. I'm in number five already. Okay. Uh, okay. So um people are motivated by pleasure seems to other personal interests of creativity. Motivated and question to the Okay, so number five. Okay. okay, so he said. Like potential kill. How do we do it, Bodo? That was it. That's three. Three. New explanation to Bodo. Talking about kill. That's the focus. And it was even talking about it towards the end. Yeah. Okay. 
in the last one, let's uh, place over concept that I may not may be a new source on modern projects, may be a new source. In modern days, a lot of expression was being sent. So instead of creating new form, I'm talking about probably new source, new new issues, new things that can cause boredom. A Sorry, what issue. what is the answer to number two D? Two D. What did we pick? Mm. Four. Four. And A. 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 Four. Four. A. No, D. D is five. A is four. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What, what about E? What, what did you be for E? Three. 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 Four. Four. Okay. Okay, so F now, F is trying to talk about um, um, a new source of boredom, a new source of boredom, and then a new cure. Leave our phones and motivate ourselves. So that F is moving towards that um, three. You know, we have picked three at a point. Mm. <laughs> but F is moving towards that now. Because I'm not, I'm so not able to see. Three again. Uh, I'm not able to see any any part of this that any part of this that was looking like F. So can we just write three for F? Then what? Where mm -hmm. did we pick three? E. E. Mm -hmm. What's the E that we pick three? Okay. So. Team, we are trying to exploit what attention face, and then it thinks that some comes from personality. Okay, so it's like teacher. What what teachers can do to prevent boredom? Okay, because we're saying okay, personality. Okay, okay, okay. So it's looking like that number E is. Identify those most affected by burden. Yes, it's supposed to be. Group or identify those. But you talked you talked about personality, varieties of traits. Boredom is has been linked with variety of traits, not not age group. So that, I'm looking at eight to eight, not seven, for that e. Identify those and that are uh, that are um, that are faced by by boredom. So let's write it. All right. So we are through. Let's let let's have our answers together, please. Thank you. Um, and then let's check. I, I, I won't go beyond this point though. So I will leave us to do the rest. <laughs> the other one is much information. Who said this? Who said that? Who said that? And then the next one is a uh, summary. So let's let's all get. Yeah. Please, can we look at can we look at the uh, this, the E talking about yeah. the talking about the sorry let me go through it talking Trace. about what teacher can do to prevent the boredom. People most affected. That's what he's talking about. Okay. Who is marking for me, please? Ooh! Got it. Six uh, over six. <laughs> six. <laughs> so I, I told you reading is simple. Become. Yeah. Now I, I'm not being um a full recall, and I'm not suggesting anything for us. If you can understand the trick for the dinner, reading will be the simplest for you. Too. In my own opinion, it is the simplest. I've, I've, I've never asked. I've always told people. It's not just me. Strategize your, your commitment in reading and be consistent with your strategy. Don't um, don't don't do once in a once in a while reading practice. It will not help. All the people I've had contact with that use that approach, they had cis in reading. Cis, cis. They came out with cis. I'm telling you the truth. So um, I, I'm, I'm feeling tempted 
to to go to list of ideas. Uh, do we do we have the time? Ah, eh? Ten and seven now. It's already ten o'clock. <laughs> so let me just stop here. But um, definitely, if you want to do that one, or if you want to deal with this one, all you just need to do is look at the ideas, and and then they said who said what. Okay. So you 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 pick. Hmm. Pick the name. What is this first one? Peter Tohe. Peter Tohe. All right. Let's do for Peter Tohe. <laughs> let's just do this quickly. Let's just get this done quickly. I see somebody we gain from here. Peter Tohe. Ah. Peter Tohe, where do you do now? All right. Now, Peter Tohe said, an emotion that motivates us to stay. Yeah, we are moving on. We are moving on. It is, please, I'll, I'll, I'll get, I will take a question, Mr. Olawale. Please, just hold on. I want us to try and do this matching of class uh, and matching of information too, or matching of names. I want us to try and do it. Let's just try and do it. It's, I think, it's a question that people get worried about. Let's just do it and then we move. Uh, the same passage, same passage, same passage, same passage. It's a continuation. All right. So they said, Peter Toye said, an emotion that motivates us to stay away from certain situation. If the uh, if disgust omens, if disgust protects women from infection, boredom may protect them from infectious social situations. Okay, so let's look at some of the things he said here. The way we live today may encourage boredom. Mm -mm. One sort of boredom, mm -mm. levels of boredom may not. Trying to cope with it. Boredom may encourage us to avoid unpleasant experience. All right. That's so, the answer. Peter Toy. <laughs> that makes me <laughs> laugh. All right. So Peter Toy is E. All right. So the answer is E. Now Thomas Guez. Where is Thomas Guez? Okay, Thomas Guez is the next next whatever. They said they made a quote. Let's find find out the quote. Um. Goes has found that while people experience all kinds of boredom, they tend to specialize in one. Okay, and um, uh, of the of the five types, the most amazing is the reacting boredom, which is an explosive combination of high arousal and negative emotion. The most useful is what was called indifferent boredom. Something isn't and some someone isn't engaged in anything else. And he still feels relaxed. So he's talking about um, the 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 way people. I mean, the kind of boredom people specialize on more. Okay. Um, the way we live, levels of boredom. Trying to cope with boredom can levels of boredom may fall in the future. No, one sort of boredom is worse than all of the others. That B is looking like it. Am I accurate? That be looking like it, Abby. So let's just have it. Let's just assume where it's talking about. That, that be is looking like it. Okay. So let's let's note that be. All right. So we we'll move to the next one. Oh, next one is John Eastwood. John Eastwood. That's for that I said. In my view, the by definition, bottom is an undesirable state that does not necessarily mean that doesn't mean it isn't adaptive. Pain is adaptive. It's an undesirable state. It's an undesirable state. And trying to cope with it with little. Let, let me confirm whether it's still saying anything ahead. Yes, pain is adaptive. If we don't have physical pain, bad things will happen to us. Does that mean we should, I should call that? No, but if bottom is evolved to help, it can become toxic. So, he, he said, he talked about trying to cope with boredom can increase its negative effects. That is D. So, Tohe, E, Thomas Goas. What now? Thomas Goas is what? I think B. B, B. Um, the other one is B. D. S, what is D? Now, Frank Willemel. Uh, we must have, we must, that's the issue. When you try to understand the passage, yeah, what happened? So you'll be calling me that thought. Now, the other answers is A and C. So we have A and C that is line follow. So we, we would like to, now let's just try and find out 
Okay, France said, Francis said, in a modern way, there are a lot of overstimulation, but still a lot of problem finding meaning. So instead of speaking about more medicine, let's leave our phone and use boredom to motivate us into a world of more meaning. So he said, um, the way we live, no, levels of boredom may fall in the future. Ah, that's what is looking like. So the moment there are a lot of he said, um, but that our our overconscious self might even be a new source of boredom. But in modern human society, there is a lot of vaccination that that still remains of, of finding meaning. So instead of seeking more solution, let us leave our phone and use boredom to motivate ourselves. So I think it's a prediction that um, okay, oh, the way we live today may quite no, no 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 that's not it that's not it oh. The way we live today may quite no bother. Is that is that not it, yeah? Ah, I think that's it too. So the answer is me. He said, our overconscious lifestyle may even be a bit of a problem. Ah, answer me. Yeah. A. So the answer is A. So let's check our answers and be sure if you got it right. That's one is summary. That one is for the call. Let's four four. Eshi. So um, we. We, I think for all the stuff we need to do, we only need one, and I feel so bad about it. Now, that one is because I didn't actually, I was sitting, I already got to confirm that word local, local, local. And the word local means in our area, and it was in the passage. Oh. I felt, I, I felt, I feel some pain. All right, so now I think it's time for questions. We have tried to approach some of these stuff, and I think. Um, uh, it's actually beautiful that we find fun doing reading. If we can be able to print Kimberly 2014, can we can we get their audio to be able to practice? Well, I have few audios with me. If you have, if you can print, I will send a link where you can download the audios I have with me to you. Okay, I will send the link so you can have it. Um, I think I have six, uh, six, eight, and all that. So just let me know, let me know, uh, and I know some of us may have it, so we can just share on the page. Just, just share the page. for those who probably will not be able to um, get it. So I, I, I like us to ask our questions now. What, what what did you feel about the readings passage we did together? I did the toughest, the poor people called toughest. That's what we did today. The one people used to say ha, ah, and to make matter worse, I didn't miss any of the toughest. It was the one that I used to call Chin Chin and Granot that I actually missed. So if you want to ask a question, remember, put the video on and then you ask your question. And if um, you want to pass it on the on the um, chat room, please go ahead. I'll be able to answer from there. All right. Thank you. So those who have to share on the page, yeah, I think they should, they should yeah. help us to do that. Thank you. So um, a question, this is question time, and we're actually out of time. So let's try and um, do as well as we can. Reading is, reading is simple. There's nothing like reading is the toughest. It's the simplest. Synonyms are one crisis. The one I missed was because I didn't get synonym properly. Excuse me. They paraphrased sufficiently enough for me to, be, to, to hide themselves. So, OK. Um, please, Mr. Lawali, you can ask your question, please. Everyone, please. Um, please, how do we beat that? I, I've said this yesterday now. Um, just allocate 15 minutes. I, I, I gave the, the time frame that we can use. This, if you remember what I said yesterday, just for you say revision, can you just let us know? The time frame I called yesterday that we can use. And if you apply it and it worked, let us know too. I know it's, it's actually difficult. Some of us say, ah, sir, I, I, I couldn't finish your normal. That's normal. You don't have to always finish. But please don't. The, the, the annoying thing would be that you didn't finish and you didn't get good score. <laughs> that would be worse. So, best bet is finish and get a good score. If you don't finish and get a good score, right? And that's what you have to do with managing time properly. Do the simpler ones early, tougher ones later. 
then um, spend um, the time, spend time, let's spend less time early. 15, 15, 15, 15, that's one, one time. Nobody's talking about that, so I'm saying it already. 15 minutes for the first passage, second passage and third passage, then you leave 15 minutes to check the work, and do those I've not done before. And you can use, you, you, you should and use them. a lamp. Use a lamp. Oh, I mentioned the second one. You can also try the 5 minutes, 13, yes. 13, 14, 15. Yes, 5, 13, 13, 14, 15 strategy too can be tried. Um, and then we have the 20, 20, 20 15, 15, 5. Yeah, and always buy time at the end of the stuff to check your work. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. 5, 13, 13, 14, 15. That can also be used. Somebody said, somebody told me this morning that if, if you've had 15, 15, 15, because that five chai, <laughs> it's not easy because by the time you want to do five for all this stuff, then you you, are, you will have forgotten the keyword. By the time you, you want to do it, I mean, by the time you get to the real passage, I said, well, that's why I said individual um, and their strategy. This is the one that suits you. Don't copy anybody, and then you'll be fine. Okay. So. Um, I think I think we are rounding up already. Uh, for the question of the he has been saying question, question, but I guess he has not been able to ask it yet. But please, you can ask the question. If you want to ask, just unmute you. Okay, Mr. Lala, I'm seeing you. Unmute and, and you can speak up. Okay, good evening. So, Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me, please? All right, thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity. So my own question is um, about this reading, per se, because Reading is my major, um, I don't want to call it a problem per se, it's just a challenge, which I believe that with time it's it get better. So it's with uh, the true false not given and the yes no not given questions, as well as the <clears throat> matching of headings. Well, I don't really have much problems with matching of headings, but when it comes to true false not given, the questions sometimes are very dicey that you, you get to mix up um, one or two um, things. So, you know, sometimes just, slight, just a, a slight change in the words can can make the answer go wrong. So, I don't know, the, the question now is that in, in cases where we have complicated true false not given questions, because me, I classify them as we have some complicated true false not given question that you have to rack your brain, like you have to rack it very well to be able to to look for this answer. Because, and again, I believe one one thing that um, would be good for one to to know is um, to be good at synonyms and all. Because I think BC are they are always used to asking about synonyms. So, what method can we use, per se, for all those kind of questions, especially the the most difficult part of truth or not given because especially in Cambridge one to Cambridge one to four. I don't know where they set the questions from. <laughs> I don't know probably <laughs> if, if the, because the Cambridge that they did in nineteen ninety. I think it, uh, because it for Cambridge, be the idea, the idea says, um, yes, because I find it very difficult because the truth was not given. I when I was answering them quite all right. I saw where. The passage, like the question where they were asking it, I saw it. I saw the passage. I, I was able to locate it, but by the time I picked it, it was telling me that, for example, in a in a situation where I'm supposed to choose, where I chose false, now they're going to tell me when I'm when I'm going to be marking, they're going to say that it's true, and when I try to check, 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 I'm still going to find out that eventually it is true. But like I don't, I don't really know. I don't really get the idea, the logic about uh, okay. around the whole. Now. Let me summarize that question. You want to know how to get through truth of not given, right? Yes. Um, I, I've explained that yesterday, and we, we actually saw the type of what we are talking about today. I, I, did, you, did you follow the um, the test we did today? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Now look at the question that he asked in um, the first one we did. They said it can be in the passage. In the question, they said they are they, they did it. Now mm. that is a very dicey question, truth be told, because you could interpret it as if they said can be damaged, they did it then. 
Okay. Are you getting me? But the yes. issue is this: in false, in false, get this clearly. In false, the issue of the issue of occurrence was in the passage. I mean, the issue of of occurrence was in the passage and also in the question. But mm -hmm. the question is contradicting what's happening. It's, 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 the question is saying the opposite. Okay. Are you following me now? So okay. whenever you do not find that opposite idea, I mean, or, or a, a kind of anti of what happened in the question or in the passage, then you may not be dealing with a false. Now look okay. at this can be and they did. Sorry, sorry to you cut you short, say, sir. Uh, you said what? I said sorry to cut you short. Like I, I'm just trying to get to that point clear. You said um yeah. because now I said that whenever you find. Is it an that we should... issue mentioned in the passage? Okay. And that issue was mentioned in the question also. But on okay. to the question, they are talking the opposite, contradicting the themselves. It's like I'm saying, now look at this question they asked, that the website helped them pick itineraries. All right? But in the passage, they said, the website allowed the individuals to pick itineraries themselves. So the okay. issue of websites, itineraries, individuals are involved. But the action of the itineraries and the individuals and the website were different. That is a very classic example of false. Okay. There's a contradiction. And that contradiction is your issue. So if you cannot find a clear contradiction, never pick a no or a false. If okay. you cannot find a clear contradiction, never pick a no, never pick a false. And that okay. is actually the, the, the issue. People so don't, can... they don't know the difference between contradicting and not present at all. Okay. Now, the, the, the point is, it means if we, we should check the question against the passage. Is that is that? Ah. Okay, definitely now. That's okay. the best thing to do. I wish you said you have been doing. You check the question against the passage and then you look for the exact action that is taking place. Is it contradictory? If yes, then it is false. Is it not contradictory? If the issues that were mentioned were not contradictory to each other, but they are not the same thing, then it's, it's not given. Like, look at this one of can be, and they did. Can be means that they could do it if they like, and they may not do it if they like, but the, the passage never said they did it. He never said it. So uh, the issue of contradiction is, is slim. Now look at another way and put it now. The person said they can. All right? The person now said they cannot. Okay. okay. That is purely contradictory. The person mm. said they can. The person said, they, and the question said they cannot. Mm. And the, in, in the question, they said they did it. It's not can or what I cannot. They did it. I've not seen didn't even talk about doing it at all. He didn't mention it at all. He didn't talk about doing anything. In that situation, it is a dicey question, but it is not given because the person never said it. Now look at the other one that they asked about hotel and no hotel. Very clear. There was no mention of hotel. If you look at that, that area, no, yes. no mention of hotel. So if a blind person will pick not given, a blind person. That is. How simple that not given is. Uh -huh. not given. We can mistake it. We can mistake it for, for where, where they said hotel. But if we have something like maybe house or we have um something like um hotel like something related. Hotel is not also. Hotel is not also. Okay. Maybe, maybe they say hotel. Uh -huh. But if you look at that passage, say, they didn't mention anything around hotel. I'm telling you. Okay. What I was saying there was. They enjoy something like, and they want to take stories to their friend, and they don't want to be the only one, and then they want to have special meaning and activities. Nothing about them or house. Okay. So in that conclusion, it is very straightforward, not given. And that one is the simpler, the simpler one that people always want to see. But you know, you see it. All you just need to do is look at the action that took place, the action word. What, or if you find out that these things, now, we have the conclusion is that they bring the portion, there's, a, there's another one that they used to have. They bring a portion of the activity in the passage, they will, uh, in, in the passage into the question. They will now add an activity that didn't take place at all. They will now exactly. add it on, on the passage. 
So it's like I, it's like in the Nepal officials repair the life of the community. That's the passage. Now in the question they will say the Nepal officials um, um, were able to correct the error in the life of the community. They now went to here uh, to to the to the market to buy fish. Mm -hmm. And you are, you are, yeah, but truly, truly market. The, the, truly, the uh, Nepal officials repaired the life, but the issue of fish is not even in the passage. Yes, so in such case, it's not that given. one is not given. So okay. that's another way. But the key thing is, you need to be diligent enough to confirm. Just you know what? That's why I said not even. I mean, this yes or not given and um, matching address need more time. So do it towards the end. If you approach a question, for example, and the question is true first not given and matching agents, do matching agents first. Do true first not given last. Yeah. Okay. If you approach a question and the question is filling the gap, summary, true or not given, all you just need to do is you do your, you do your filling the gap, summary, and then true or not given last. So always do those two questions last because it needs more time to 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 justify your answer, to pick the correct answer, and to be sure of the correct answer. I hope you understand, and that actually has to do with thinking. If you don't think properly, you won't be able to get that thing. And it will need more, a bit more time. So, if you are not managing the time properly in the beginning, you will not be able to answer the questions properly. And they are not something you can rush to do. So, just give it time towards the end. And that's that, that's why you should manage your time very very properly at the beginning. All right. Thank you very much for this explicit yeah. explanation. Thank you. So, I hope I hope I've been able to answer all the questions. But nobody's asking questions again, so I believe I have all the questions. All right. So um, I'd like to um, give it over to uh, Mr. Bella, um, our, our moderator, to probably speak to us uh, as we round off. I think we have a lot of people already going. Yeah. So. Hello, everyone. I won't take your time. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Bro. I'll just say yeah. my prayer to you is that all of this effort will not go in vain. And I want to say thank you to Mr. Yeah. Steve. Well done, everyone. That's, that's what I'll say tonight. Well done. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so um, I think we should leave. Um, I'll be giving assignments for reading on the page, on the Telegram page and listening to. And then it's going to be a bit voluminous as we prepare for the weekend. And then on Monday, we start up with writing tax one. Let's get ready, and I think it's going to be a nice one next week. So thank you, and bye bye. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Yeah, thank you. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.